seems like a, a lot of people who aren't paying attention to all the nitty gritty in Washington, they're pretty complacent as long as the stock market is doing well and you know the economy isn't completely horrible. I'm wondering if that you know it's helping the pension fund, but it kind of does help the, the president, it's, doesn't it? It's yes. I mean, it's it's an odd situation though because you remember election night, the futures cratered. I mean, eight nine hundred points down. That's right. Yeah. And, 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 a lot then, of worry. and then everything settled out. You know, look, I. I I do believe that part of what's happening is a benefit of the economy that President Obama left us. So, you know, who's ever in office at a given time takes credit or, you know, or gets blame, even if it wasn't totally their, their fault yeah. or, their, or to their credit. So I, I think part of it is the continuation of the, the positive economy we had towards the end of the Obama presidency. But there's a lot about the stock market that's more psychological than anything else. And I, I, I you know, I would have to say that it seems that some of the, the, the you know, the, the, the talk about the, the business climate, whether in, in reality it's better or not, seems to be benefiting there. But, you know, to the extent that it is psychological, world events, you know, certainly North Korea as a flashpoint being one of them, that could set everything going in, in the opposite direction. It hasn't yet. 